Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Welcome to another Zero training video. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you the basics of purchase orders on Zero accounting software. Go to business at the top here and scroll down to purchase orders. This is the purchase order screen and I have a list of purchase orders in front of me. It could be that your list is blank. That is absolutely fine. That just means there's no purchase orders on your software. These are the ones that are on my software. To add a new purchase order, we click new purchase order. What a surprise. And we fill in the details. Now, if you're familiar with Xero in the sense that you know how to create bills, um, like record purchase invoices, and raise sales invoices, then this is going to be easy for you. It's just a template, just like bills and sales invoices. So we choose our contact and we just fill in the details here. So the date, the purchase order number, the reference, let's do that. And we'll look out for this in future. Just fill in the details just like you would. So let's do one at 1500 pounds, euros, dollars. This is the first thing to note is the account. So it could be, totally hypothetically, it could be that this is going to cost of goods sold. Even though I've selected that nominal account, 310, cost of goods sold, when I say this purchase order, it's not going to impact the financial accounts at all. It's not going to post this transaction to 310. It does that when the bill is created from the purchase order. So if you're familiar with quotes on um, zero, you'll know that works the same. So quotes and purchase orders do not impact the financial accounts. It's the sales invoices, it's the bills that are created from the quote or the purchase order that then impact the financial accounts. Hopefully that makes sense. If not, leave a comment, leave a question in the comment section below. So 1500 pounds, now this is a bit different, is that we have a delivery address down here. So you can enter the delivery information, which should show on a purchase order, and then you're good to go. Now we have a number of options, okay? We can save, if I save the purchase order, it will just save it as a draft. So if I need to come back to this at a later time, let's say I'm halfway through, or I need to confirm some details on here, if I just click save, it will save it as a draft, and it will show under the drafts tab, on the purchase order screen. I'll show you that in a moment. Now, if I click the drop down list here, I can click save and submit for approval. Okay, and that's the next tab along. So you can see we have a draft tab. So if I just save it, it will go under here. If I save and await approval, it will go here. So here it is, here's my reference. Here's the purchase order, 1800 pounds, 1500 pounds, plus the sales tax, the VAT. It's awaiting approval. So if you do use a purchase order system that needs approval, then this is the feature you need to use. If you don't use any form of approval, then you don't need to save it uh, and waiting for approval. You can se select approve here, or when the purchase order has been approved, you can come here, select approve. Once it's approved, you can then print it We'll send it from zero. If I click print, it will say mark as sent. And I can print that off or save that, whatever I want to do. So if I now go back to purchase orders, we have draft awaiting approval approved. And my purchase order is showing at the top here as approved. Once the invoice has been received for these goods. The goods have been received and we receive our invoice. We can go back to the purchase order. We can click mark as build. And then if we tick this box here, we can then copy the purchase order to a draft bill. If I don't tick that box, that won't be an option. So it all depends if you want to auto fill the bill with the purchase order details or not. If I leave this unticked and click OK, it will then just mark the purchase order as completed, build, all done. Okay, if I tick this, it will then take me to the billing screen and I can record the invoice and you can see here, 1500 pounds, 310, cost of goods sold. Everything I entered onto the purchase order, including the reference, 
is now showing on the bill. I can just quickly check that, change any, any information I need to and click approve. That bill will then be added. So that's the basics of purchase orders. We have these tabs here. If I go to build, you can now see it's here. That's how it works. Any questions, use the comment section below. Thank you for watching.